My name is Greg, and I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Livingston campus at Rutgers University in New Brunswick. Now, while it is Rutgers University in New Brunswick, Livingston campus is actually in Piscataway, New Jersey. Um, and one of the first buildings we're going to look at is the Livingston Student Center. It's a communal area for students. Each campus has a student center, um, and this is Livingston's. It uh, has two floors, lots of study areas, there's places to eat, and um, one of the more interesting points of the Livingston Student Center is the Rutgers Zone, which is sort of like the ESPN Zone. Uh, it has games and appetizers, a fully working bar, There's, but there's no alcohol. It's an ice cream bar with milkshakes and soda, and just you can order a lot of different kinds of food. There's TV so you can see uh, any kind of sports game. They have you know, the NFL package, that kind of thing. So it's a, it's a really cool place to hang out. Definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking for something to do. Um, okay. Now, next up, we have the Ernest Linton Towers, or better known as just the Towers. Now, they're one of the first uh, few residence halls you'll see at Livingston. Um, there's four different buildings, each about eight floors. It's a cool place to live. It's more of a there's a lot more people there, so it's a it's a louder residence hall if you're looking for a lot going on. It's very close to a lot. Um, there's the Tillett Hall Dining Hall. Tillett Hall is also a classroom building, but it is mostly known as the Dining Hall on Livingston Campus. It will not be the Dining Hall for much longer. Uh, I believe it's going to become fully classrooms, and the new Dining Hall is currently under construction. It will be called Livingston Commons, so let's take a quick look at that. Now this is the site of Livingston Commons. It will be Livingston's new dining hall, set to open in the fall of 2011. Um, it's gonna be completely brand new, uh, new, you know, kitchen, new everything. It's being built from the ground up. Well, something cool about it is that it will actually be connected to the Livingston Student Center, so you can go from one building to the other. And right next door to Livingston Commons is Kilmer Library. Kilmer Library, great place to study. It's a media library, so a lot of you know, videos and periodicals and magazines, that kind of thing. That's what you would go to Kilmer Library for, but no matter what you're studying, great place to hang out and just get some work done. Next door to Kilmer Library is the Livingston Classroom Building. It's a smaller building with uh, one very large classroom and I believe a few smaller ones. Um, you might have a few classes there. It's not as popular as some of the other buildings, such as the Lucy Stone Hall? and Beck Hall, which is also on Livingston campus. Um, here we have Lucy Stone Hall. It's, uh, it's got a very large auditorium and also just many, many classrooms. It's one of the more popular classroom buildings on Livingston campus. And you can see right in between Lucy Stone and Tillett Hall, there's a fountain. It's a nice little communal area for students to hang out and uh, relax. It's just a really nice area. Now, Skipping ahead, we've got the Livingston Quads, which is a very, uh, it, which is another uh, residence hall on the Livingston campus. It is three different communal areas of buildings, three different clusters of buildings. There's Quad One, Quad Two, and Quad Three, and they're each made up of different houses. Um, so there's a lot of little buildings going on, but it's very different from the towers in that the each building or house does not hold as many students, so it's a much quieter living space. There's a lot of green space around. It's very, it's a very nice, relaxing place to live um, if you're not if you're looking for a more relaxing, quiet college dorm experience. And right across the street from the Livingston Quads is the Livingston Recreation Center. It's a much smaller recreation center compared to some of the others available at Rutgers. It's also very quiet. If you're looking for a very quiet, relaxing workout, I recommend the Livingston Recreation Center. Okay, so thanks for listening. Once again, my name is Greg, and I hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you.